All right. In this video, we are going to discuss about frequency density. At first, the working formula for frequency density is very simple, and it states that frequency divided by class width. All right, that is the working formula: frequency divided by class width. But the main question arises that where should we need to apply frequency density? So keep in mind whenever you have unequal class width. All right. Whenever you have unequal class width, you need to apply frequency density. Now let's take an example. It from December twenty seventeen paper two one. If you focus the class width, that means the difference between the upper and the lower class. So five minus zero. I'm going to write down the difference. Five minus zero. It's five. Ten minus five. It's five. Twenty minus ten. It's ten. Thirty minus twenty. It's ten. And fifty minus thirty. It's twenty. Now you can observe that the difference is not same. That is why we are going to apply the frequency density working formula here. All right. So the working formula is frequency divided by class width. For the first case, frequency is thirty-five and class width is five, so that will be seven. For the second case, frequency is forty-two and class width is five. It's eight point four. For the next one, eight point four. Third one, frequency is 30 and class width is 10, so it's 3. 28 class frequency class width is 10, so it's 2.8. And the last one, 15 is frequency and class width is 20. Sorry, frequency is 15, so it's 0.75. Now we need to plot those values on the histogram. For the first one, when it's 0 till 5, the value is 7. I place the numbers on the y-axis. So for first part. It says from zero to five, its value is seven. So from zero to five, the value is seven. That means that is your first bar from zero to five. After that, from five to ten, it's eight point four. So five to ten, that will be eight point four, and that is your second bar. All right. For ten till twenty, it's equals to three. So ten till twenty, that will be equals to three. After that. From twenty till thirty, it will be two point eight. Twenty till thirty, that will be two point eight, and that is your fourth one. After that, from thirty to fifty, it is equals to point seven five. So from thirty to fifty, it is equals to zero point seven five. So that is your histogram. So you need to keep in mind that whenever you have unequal class width, so you need to apply frequency density working formula. Frequency density should be always on the y-axis, and you can easily find out by frequency divided by class width ratio.